Hi, this is Swati from Gokaraju Rangaraju. We have done a mini project on classification of frequent items which using strong association rules, which are generated by using the a priori algorithm. We are a group of five members, myself, Gautami, Priyanka, Sonam and Varsha, under the esteemed guidance of Mrs. G. and Dina Bettel, Associative Professor, Computer Science Department. Items. Items may be anything in the real world. They can be a transaction or a card data or anything else. Overview. Overview includes introduction to data mining, introduction to frequent item sets, system requirements for this implementation, implementation of a priori algorithm and the strong association rules for this algorithm and the rules are being applied to the classification of data. Introduction to data mining. The vision discovery of previously unknown valid, potential useful, understandable patterns in large data sets. Introduction to frequent item sets. Frequent item sets are the item sets which are being frequently repeated. We can have an example on the right side of the slide which shows you the frequent item sets. Support fraction of transactions that contain an item set. Association rules. Conclusions based on the frequent item sets from form association rules. The system requirements as given below. A priori algorithm was developed by Agarwal and Srikanth in 1994. The main property of a priori is any subset of frequent item set must be frequent. A priori algorithm involves level by searching of the frequent item sets in which we will be generating the candidates which support the minimum support and the item sets which support the minimum support are eligible for generating the strong association rules which, sub which uh, satisfy the confidence. Frequent item sets support support and its formula which is to be implemented, confidence and its formula. A priori algorithm as a pseudocode. In a priori algorithm as a pseudocode, initially we take the data as transactions and also the data required for the transactions to be implemented and we generate the frequent item set for each and every item such as first frequent item set, second frequent item set. For each frequent item set, the items which satisfy the minimum support form the candidates. These candidates are then measured for their confidence levels and strong association rules are being generated and these strong association rules. A priori algorithm as an example, as mentioned in the pseudocode, the example is being implemented of any database of any number of items in which first frequent item is generated as shown and second frequent and then the third frequent and then the fourth frequent. It is given that in as an a priori property that all the subsets of a frequent item set must also be frequent. Generation, uh, generation of association rules from these frequent item sets. In these association rules, the confidence level when it is low, then the rule is being rejected. When the confidence level is more, then the rule is being selected. Similarly, till the ending, the rules which are being selected form the strong association rules. Now I will give to my friend Sonam for introduction of the classification. Hi, I am Sonam. I would like to introduce the classification based on association rules. CDA uses an iterative approach to frequent item set mining where multiple passes are made over the data. The number of passes is equal to the length of longest rule found. The complete set of rules satisfy minimum confidence and minimum support. It uses a heuristic method that is the set of rules has the same antecedent then the rule with the highest confidence is selected to represent the set. Objectives to generate the complete set of CAS. CARES is the class of association rules. Consists of all the possible rules that are frequent and accurate that satisfy user specified minimum support and confidence constraints. Definition Learning the function that maps an item into one of set of predefined classes. Goal The goal of CBA is to see previously unseen records should be assigned a class as accurate as possible. A test set is used to determine accuracy and the data set is divided into training and test sets with the data is classified based on training set. Model construction. Describing a set of predetermined classes with tuples and the set of tuples used for modeling. Model usage is for classifying future or unknown objects. Estimate the accuracy, known label compared with classified result, accuracy rate and if the accuracy is acceptable, the model to classify data tuples whose class labels are not known. Importance of classification. Extensively studied program and used in data mining techniques. Scalability is an important issue and research directions. CBA. Several methods for association based classification are quantitative association mining and clustering of association rules, associative classification, classification by aggregation emerging patterns. 
main steps of CDA. Discretize continuous attributes if any. Generate all class association rules. Build a classifier based on the generated cats. How and why to integrate classification with association rules? Both classification rule mining and association rule mining are indispensable to practical applications. The integration is done by focusing on a special subset of rules whose right hand side are restricted to the cats. I give it to my friend Gautami. Hi, this is Gautami. Now the coding part. This is the code for the classification based on the association rules. In this, we mainly consider the data sets as the inputs. What, whatever may be the data, it will be classified based on the association. In this, we will, we will use the Java applets to do the classification based on association rules. In this classification process, program, we will, we will call the a priori algorithm and some other programs like attributes and outputs will be, will be called. The classification will be completed like this. Now I will explain the execution of the CBA. We will execute using command prompt. Now, as the input window is popped, we have the uh, we, ha we need to enter the data and submit it. As we submit the date, submit the a priori is executed and, and shown as the table format with the frequent item sets. Now we have we have to enter the classification inputs and get the classified output. The output will be generated based on the data set. As seen, the output is una unaccepted for the given part data set. And the next we get the final CBA output. The conference level. Rules of the association. And the attributes in the data sets can be seen. This is the end of the CBA. Thank you.